Hey, it's Wednesday. How's it going, Sworn Nation? How are you all doing? Good, good morning. What are we talk about? It's noon time. We should all be hungry and having our lunches if you live in this certain time zone. So, anyways, uh, got some fun stuff for you guys today. I'm even going to uh, read something special that uh, some of you may have seen here on Sworn Nation. Um, but, yeah, I just, I want to read something out loud to you all from someone. Um, and I thought I would, I, I would share it with you guys for those who didn't um, perhaps read it. So I'm going to read it out loud. Uh, let me know when you guys are all in the room. Uh, thank you to those uh, on the Monday show. We went ahead and uh, things didn't populate <laughs> on time. So uh, the stuff that was uh, showed up on the catacombs late. Uh, some of that stuff is on there. Uh, Monday, um, there will be things dropping off and going away. So, if there's that one item that's still hanging up there, uh, I don't mean to sound like a broken record, but it's it'll be coming down probably by Monday, uh, if it was from the earlier shows. So, anyways, uh, let's see, who do we got here today? Hello, world, who we got? Oh, no. Gosh, that, that'd be horrible. Horrible. Everyone make a shout out when you're in the room. Uh, real quick. Also, um, I hope everyone's having an amazing week. It's been, um, <laughs> it's been a week. Uh, thank God it's flying by. And I'll be so glad, as I'm sure everyone is here in America, you'll be done getting those annoying text messages those annoying emails and all that other uh, annoying phone calls we get for, you know, whatever political candidates uh, got our info on and keep hitting us with. I got hit by everyone and it was like, oh my God, I am so glad it's done. My phone can go back to normal and yeah, it'll be great. You're good. Michelle, what's up? How are you today? Good lunchtime. How is your week treating you? Let me know uh, if you have any questions. Um, we've been sending out a lot of really cool uh, pro promo items. We just um, made the announcement that Friday, the uh, Infernal Holidays exclusives will be hitting. If you have not seen those, you gotta sign up for the VIP newsletter. That's where we let you know about this stuff way ahead of time, and it gets you in the know so you can not miss out on any of the beautiful things that uh, we produce here at Coffin Comics. So sign up for that VIP's newsletter. The link should be right there. Good. How's everyone else doing, Michelle? Everyone doing good? I'm going to do right back at you. Here's my emojis to you. Ready? There you go. There you go. There's uh, my uh, emoji response to you, Michelle. <laughs> Pony deaths are so great. I love those. I'm glad we're doing it again. I totally agree with you. Um, I think those are going to be a lot of fun. I really do. Especially the hollow foil one is going to look amazing. Amazing. So, um, let's see. we got a few more people coming into the room. Make your announcements. Let it be known. Give a shout out so I know you're here. Because I, I, I want to have as many people in the room as possible. When I read, uh, I got permission from the author to read this out loud. I thought it was really passionate. I thought it was really amazing, and I thought it was cool. Um, again, one of the many cool things uh, you people do that um, just makes us work even harder and just strive to be better than we were the day before for you guys, because um, you guys are amazing fans. So thank you very much for the, all the beautiful words and sharing this stuff. and. Like I say, I I'm excited. This is uh, something that was presented on the Sworn Nation. Hi, Eric. How are you? Um, it was written by uh, Blue Sworn, Jay Taylor. Um, so I asked her permission to read this out loud. I really like this, and it looks like a bunch of other folks liked it too. So I will try to do a... Um, 
as dramatic of a reading as I can uh, for this uh, without fumbling words. So, uh, again, this is Sworn, and it was written by Jay Taylor. Um, thank you very much, Jay, for allowing me to read this. <clears throat> the fiends of mass to form the Sworn to praise the hellbent and hellborn. With blood red skies and moonlight glare stands the beauty with white hair. Beauty, lust, power radiate from her pale skin. With an army of the dead, her war begins. Can the lady achieve her goal? Or will the hellborn take her soul? The witch was born a lowly slave, raising through the ranks soon unchained. Sultry beauty with a strong bloodlust, killed was her lover and only trust. Destroying all in her path, the lady may soon face her wrath. But what of those who dwell above? Taken from her were the ones she loved, a sugar skull and a need for revenge. Her quest for justice may be her end. The saint of death stands by her side, empowering her with deadly guise. To dwell in this nation, you must truly love the lady, the witch below, and vengeance above. For those of us that have their back, know that we are all sworn to the black. Thank you, Jay. This was cool. This is really cool. I love seeing this stuff from fans. And I have to say we have the best fans in comics, bar none. Right. I'll put our fans up against the Marvel Zombies, the DC Heads, everyone. You guys are the best. Because we are a true united front. Thank you very much. Jay Taylor is in the house. <laughs> Jay, uh, I hope you were able to catch that. Um, I hope I, I did your poem justice. Um, I really liked it. Um, thank you again for sharing that with me. And... Um, I did uh, send it to uh, the staff here at Coffin Comics, and uh, everyone I've heard back from loves it, Jay. So uh, everyone, a round of applause for Jay Taylor. Thank you very much. Very well-written poem. Um, I, I hope I did it some justice, and thank you for sharing that with everyone and allowing me to read that out loud. So thank you, Jay. Um, hope you're having a great day at work. So let's, uh, let's get the ball rolling. Let me show you some of the stuff that are being uploaded into the catacombs by the amazing Dakota Reese. That's right, Dakota, Dakota. Everyone knows Dakota. All right, here we go. Today, today's catacombs presentation is brought to you by Coffin Comics and by the number three. Hope you guys got, caught the reference. Okay, here we go. So everything I'll be showing up the catacombs are all number threes. Everything is a number three edition, um, just straight number three. So the lowest numbers uh, of our numbering system that we offer out, that's not an AP or a uh, mock-up or anything of that sort. First up, we have Lady Death, the Oblivion Kiss, first appearance, Demonica edition, it's number three, only 88 editions were made of this. So this is number three out of 88 of this first appearance. Number three, number three. Today, we're talking about number three, y'all. All right. Oh, thank you, Randy. Yeah, yeah, Jay, really good. I, I really liked it. Thank you. Thank you for uh, the poem. That's one thing I, I love about um, being a part of this company is... Um, you people love us a lot, and it shows, and your passion knows no bounds. So, you guys freaking rock. Another number three, because today, Coffin Comets is brought to you by the number three. Ace Bunny! What's up, man? How are you? Randy! We have the Lady Death Echoes number one, Barbarian Edition. There is only 88 of these made. This is the number three. Number three, and it has the number three COA. Let us know uh, if you would like your item signed by Brian. He's always more than happy to do that for those who are in the know. So again, another beautiful, classic Coffin Comics edition. And it's the number three. 
Next up, we have Lady Death, Judgment War. This is the Blood Red Skies. Greg Capullo. Number three. Number three. Three out of 99. This is it. Uh, unless I find out AP or BP, this is all I have. On uh, some of these uh, older coffin editions, um, there was some really small print runs of these. And a lot of the original books that I've been finding, um, it looked like they were handmade by Brian and everyone else. It, it's just seeing the beginnings and, and what we were doing as a company when we first started out is truly humbling considering where we are now. And it was just, what, 13 years ago? I mean... We've really come a long way, and I love finding this old stuff for you guys, especially a lot of you who have discovered us later on. Uh, I love finding this old stuff um, to get in your guys' hands. So, next up, got a number three edition. This is Lady Death Visions. This is the Magic Edition. Let's see, Mandy and Art Dibbert. This is beautiful. Look at that. Look at that art. Beautiful. I really love the floating candles around it. This is really beautiful. The other number three. This is Lady Death Rapture One. This is from the uh, Las Vegas Comic Con, or Comic Expo, I should say. This is number three. Only 150 were available. This is number three, everyone. Bob! Everybody, Bob's in the house. Everyone, let's give Bob a great big... Hi, Bob! All caps! Let's show Bob all the mighty love that is in the room. So, uh, Jay, I, I have a question for you. Okay, you're a big Capullo fan and everything. Um, what was the first... Lady Death or Evil Learning, what was the first book that got you here where you are today at Coffin Comics? What was the first book that hooked you in? Was it recently or is it from back in the day? I want to know. So, yeah. I, I love asking questions like this to y'all because um, I just love these answers because it's like, uh, you know, I, I get to... Uh, I get to share your passions and the beginnings of what got you into this fandom, and I love stories like that. Next up, another classic, going way back. This is Lady Death Killers Number One. This is the Sleep Edition, and you can tell it's old school because it's actually got handwritten number three. Handwritten number three out of three hundred. There is the COA. Guys, these books have been sitting. Um, some of this stuff for years in, in, in archival boxes, in, 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 our, in our archives, and a lot of this stuff is seeing um, the light of day first times in a while. Um, and like I say, after about a week uh, or so, a lot of your onesie stock you see on there are going to go away, uh, and when they will show up, um, haven't decided yet. Um, could be later on down the road, could be way later on down the road. Like I say, we've, we've got a lot of fun stuff here to show you guys in the catacombs, so we don't want to get it too crowded. Uh, and not only that, we have to make it some sort of uh, temptation for you. So, Mwah, I'm tempting you. You have a week to pick up the beauties, or they go away forever? I don't know. Next up, I have Lady Death number zero. This is the Hellbound Edition. This is number one. Of 125. This, another beautifully amazing cover. I love the look of this. It's like she is ready to get in that fray and just decimate all those demons. Yeah, that is a really beautiful image. Beautiful. Stunning. Wow. See, I, I, I love... Um, Looking at your guys' posts in Sworn Nation and, and other um, social media sites we have, um, to find some of this stuff and just, um, you know, see, see what you guys are um, really excited about and, and in the hopes that I'm able to find some of these editions and put them on here so some of you guys that have been hunting this stuff down 
and having problems finding the wild, well, you can come here at the catacombs and check it out over at the Coffee Comic Shop. Next up, Lady Death, Dragon Wars, Naughty Ares Edition. I really love these uh, Zodiac covers we were doing for a while. Um, I think they're stunningly beautiful. Um, I, I absolutely love these. I, 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 I saw um, with the metal cards, um, I see a lot of you guys went totally crazy uh, for our metal card sale uh, we offered earlier. And oh my gosh. Seeing some of the metal card editions that they did on those and knowing it's like, oh, wow, there's a silver and a gold version, um, I, I was really floored. Um, but I was really just floored by, by the art and just the beauty of it all. Um, so you guys who scooped up uh, a lot of those metallic cards, you guys got some really nice stuff coming to you, and you all have good eyes. Next up, another number three. <laughs> Thanks, Randy. <laughs> I guess. Uh, next up, we have Unholy Ruin. This is a naughty edition by Ebass. It is the number three. Once this is either sold or is not sold, it is going to go away for quite a while. It will disappear <sighs> like dust in the wind. Dudes, dudettes. I love this. Um, I, I wish uh, I put it up uh, last month, but I just had to do this whole number three edition theme. It just, it sounded silly for me, and I'm a silly person, and I'm a total nerd, so I thought it would have been fun, but right here, I'm it showing this off to you guys. Lady Death Devotions. This is the Naughty Lament by the amazing Dan Mendoza. This is a number three. This is the only one I have. I did have a print available of this that had a remark from Dan, but that went really quickly. And um, yeah, guys, get it while I got it. Number three editions. This is The Naughty Lament by Dan Mendoza. The ever-loving and the always fun to be around Dan Mendoza. Next up. Little La Muerta number three editions in your own life. Here we go. This is Lady Death Retribution. This is the secret edition. Mike Chrome is the artist. Get another beautiful piece. Say this stuff, once it's gone, it's gone, guys. Either someone scoops it up or it goes back and I'm gonna lock it up in the vault for a while. Can't forget another classic. And this is the uh, only metal, met, metal, metal cover I have for you guys today. Just take my time. Okay, I still got time. This is Lady Death Zero. This is the silver edition. That is number three out of 44. Three out of 44. Greg Bernard, how's it going, man? Good to see your name popping up on here. How are you? How are you? Always good to see names from uh, folks that um, scoop up my orders uh, over on eBay and, and other stuff. So, Greg, it's, it's good to see your name on the show. Thank you very much for joining us, and I'm hoping you're enjoying your lunch and having a great Wednesday, everybody. We're almost done with the week. We're almost done with the week. Thank God. Um, I, I have some fun projects I want to do at home this weekend. Next up, continuing with the tradition of the three edition... We have Lady Death Extinction Press. This is the Savage Edition. I absolutely adore this image. I adore the art. Very beautiful um, rendition. Um, I totally recommend this. Uh, I really love this style. I believe this gentleman, this artist, um, Ryan, tell me the story. Um, he very much mimics his father's art. Um, and he totally nailed Lady Death in that style. So get it, folks, get it. Sixty-nine here today? Wow, man. It's getting better here, thank gosh. Terrace thought, yeah, 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 I, I agree. Alaska Bruce. <laughs> <I've been there. laughs> Ah, oh, and last up, number three edition. 
This is Damnation Game pinup number three out of 150. I wish I had the hollow foil versions of this uh, just in the hopes I could just hang it on my wall and look at it all day long. But this is it. This is the number three edition. Again, this has been the Coffin Comics Catacombs brought to you by the letter J for J and by the number three. Yes, I'm doing a dark Sesame Street here today. <laughs> Real quick, let me see if anyone's got any questions. Yes, Jay, that Savage Edition is beautiful. Let's see, what do we got here? Bingo. All right. Anyone wants to be brought on for the last uh, 10 minutes so we can uh, go ahead and uh, do a little Q&A with you. Um, the Kickstarter, by the way, guys, holy cow, um, did you guys see what we announced that there is a new tier, I believe it's, uh, 23C, we're tipping in a random 10% hollow foils, uh, in that run, and it is stunningly beautiful. I wish I had a mock-up to show you, because, whoo, whoo, Beautiful, beautiful. There's only 99 serial numbers offered. We just put that up on Kickstarter about an hour ago. So um, check it out. Ace, I agree. Um, I'm wearing a hoodie shirt, um, Miguel, because I forgot to wear a coffin shirt. So I try to be on brand. I mean, I I am. I have my you know Nosferatu vampire glow in the dark shirt. Ooh. Um, but um, I try to make sure I wear a coffin shirt. So. I thought I'd, hey, I have a uh, hoodie, so. No, it is not hoodie weather. Uh, it is actually bloody warm in here, but that's okay. I suffer for you people. So, yeah. Uh, so, yeah, if anyone wants to uh, jump on, wants to be on camera, please give me a hey-ho, let's go. First hey-ho, let's go gets put on the camera. Ace, I am looking forward to 2022 so much. Um, I am really looking forward to meeting all these new people I've been meeting um, uh, just by doing these shows and, and being on camera with Brian. I'm getting so many friend requests and I have just met some of the nicest people I could meet working at a job. So you guys make this job easy uh, working for y'all. Yeah, don't put pull Brandy. Why would I pull Brandy? <laughs> Dude, I um, I really like the new coffin uh, hoodies as well, Jay. I think they're going to look gorgeous. Um, I would also love to get my hands on a La Muerta hoodie. Um, who knows? Maybe I might just have to make one myself. Maybe I don't know. I don't know how to do that stuff. But real quick, let me just show you guys. I... Don't know what it, the plan is for today for the Kickstarter, but it's Wednesday, so I'm expecting some surprise from Brian today. So, uh, real quick, I just want to show you guys what's going on here at HQ real quick. There's been a lot of books getting laid out to get signed. As you can see here, Brian has his work cut out for him. Lots of... Of books being laid out around HQ to get Brian to sign it so we can get everything shipped out for y'all. Hi, Dakota. Hi. Everyone, that was the lovely Dakota. Some lenticulars we got laid out to get signed. Look at these rows of beauties, guys. We got more over here. Look at this. This is what Brian signs. And this is this is just a small percentage of what we have laid out for him to sign. I mean, it's crazy six more minutes so yeah um brian will be busy there's my books <laughs> there's everyone's books look at all these beautiful books man just all laid out this is one thing i i i, I walk by my mornings after i come in uh, to hq i get to look at the museum and every day it seems like there's like something new for me to discover um well, there's that Mendoza original art um, that anyone who backs us on Kickstarter, and we put your number up in here, and we pull it, we're going to just tip that into your order if you are the lucky person whose number might be drawn. Or you can even get the 
lemon ash can, which is limited to what do we got? Here? Oh god, I get a flare. I don't want to open that up to show you guys. It's like 50 of the violet, which is 100, and then 25 of the violet. Dude, Ace, that would be amazing. I would love to have a conveyor belt with a button so I can show you guys my presentations and you know make it like a fashion show. Ooh. Hey, so you gave me weird ideas for the show. Thank you very much. <laughs> Look, and if you guys know anyone who's interested in trying out our books, um, Hell Witch is a mature reader's title. It is definitely not for kids. Uh, we have two chapters available right now. The Kickstarter for the third one will be wrapping up in about a um, little over a week, or maybe exactly a week. Um, and we just added another item. Here's some of the mystery envelope stuff. These are real popular. I've been getting lots of requests on Kickstarters for these. Um, so, if anyone's, don't delay when it comes to mystery envelopes on any campaign. These are extremely popular. Um, I, I People trade them to finish their collections. Uh, this is really... Um, Amazing, guys. If you have never gotten a mystery envelope, I highly recommend it because not only do you not just one of these, we sometimes tip in random stuff like publisher file copies, artist proof copies, BP editions also go in. So if you've been thinking about it, don't think anymore. They will sell out. Oh, the Hell Witch Metal? You mean this one right here? Look at that beautiful piece of work. This is amazing. Beautiful. This is stuff that are available on our Kickstarter. Uh, there is a link that you can click on. If none of you all have backed a Kickstarter or you're looking for something to back, well, I say you back us. We are Coffin Comics. We publish everything outside of here in Mesa, Arizona. We have been in the publishing game for 13 years. And we have the best vans in the world. Look at all that beautiful hollow foil. <laughs> so, like I say, guys, um, this is the type of stuff you're going to see on our Kickstarter. This stuff, we're just going to pull names. Ah, uh, do you? Uh, Miguel. That's another thing I like. You guys uh, taunt each other. <laughs> Uh, with the original arts and whatnot. We got Pogs too, guys. Pogs. Only Coffin delivers all the amazing goodness that was fun and exciting about collecting comics. That's what we try to do. So I only got a couple minutes. Uh, real quick, I'm just going to do a slow pan on everything that is up on the catacombs. Also, anything that you guys missed on Monday, uh, there was a slight delay getting it up. So no delays. They are up there. And starting Monday... Items will be disappearing from the catacombs for a while. So if there's that addition you've been debating on, don't debate. This has been the number three edition of the Coffin Catacombs. Thank you so much, everybody, for joining us. Uh, thank you for the fun. Thank you, Jay, um, very much for allowing me to read that poem and thank you for an amazing poem. So a round of applause to Jay Taylor, who's on here right now watching. Um, thank you, everyone. It's been wonderful again. Everyone have a great rest of your week. I'll be talking to you later. I'm sworn to you. This has been The Hooligan. Hasta la bye-bye.